I need this DNA test because I'm trying to find out who my biological father is and get to know him because I've been searching for him my whole entire life. I'm 33 and throughout the years I've gone to the DMV, I've gone to hospital, I've looked up uh, Department of Corrections websites and my last time was through uh, social media because I've never reached out to anyone in particular on social media. And I went through different profile pictures and I typed in his name because I didn't know his name. And once I saw his picture, I was like, hmm, he kind of looks like me. So I decided to send him a message and I asked him if he knew certain people in my family. And he was like, yes. And I told him like, uh, I think you may be my dad. And he was like, you think? He was like, so, uh, so how can we find out? And I was like, we can do a DNA test. And he was like, okay. And then he sent me his number and we called and um, I called him and then he asked if I wanted to come and meet him. And I said, yes. So I went and met him for the first time last Thursday, I believe. We live an hour and a half away from each other. He was in the Navy. I was in the Army. He drove 18 wheelers. I drove 18 wheelers. We just like have so much in common. It was crazy. Uh, when I first met him, um, we hugged and I was kind of nervous, but it was like an instant connection. Like we talk all day, every day. He told me that he had seven kids. I would make eight if I am his child. And I was able to meet um, his son, which may be my brother. Uh, we talked for a little bit. He's kind of shy. I'm kind of shy too. So we, we practically listened to him talk and we just sat there and laughed. So what was it like when you got the message from her? Oh my God, my stomach dropped, fell to the floor. I'm like, oh my God. Wow, I got seven kids, baby. One more gonna hurt. So, oh my God, I was, I was openly excited, but I was nervous. I was like, oh God, I'm gonna pass out. Uh, tell me about that first conversation you had with her. Oh my God, we, we kind of stopped talking. It was like, oh my God, she gotta be someone. She, she, I like, she, I like she's shy, but she ain't shy. She got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. oh man, we talked all day. We still talk. It's like we just can't get enough of each other. We love each other. We love each other. God, so the outcome we're gonna be there for each other. You were in the Navy. I heard you you trained with the SEALs. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? Tell yes, me sir. about that. Uh, a little bit about that. It was a little scary. On you know, I was 17, and I was on the wild side. So everything I did was crazy. So. Uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. I was going to say, that's mm -hmm. probably some of the hardest training that anybody in this world oh. could go through. Everybody, they, they, just, they just don't know. It's just the toughest training you ever want to go to. It's no. tough, but it's good for you, um, mentally and physically. Now, yeah. I mean, how proud are you? Like, you meet Janice, mm -hmm. she might be your daughter, but she's not somebody who's, you know, coming in your life looking for a handout. She served in the Army. She's successful. Mm -hmm. She's beautiful. Like... I mean, th if anybody, that's who you're saying, yeah, I want her oh to be God. my daughter. Definitely, definitely. I'm so proud of her because she's so smart. And it's like, oh, like, Apple don't fall too far from the tree. You know what I mean? I look good. I'm ass. <laughs> she's said on the tape, hey, if it doesn't come back, he's, I'm not looking anymore. This is the guy. How, how does yeah. that make you feel? She's saying, oh, man. Even, if, so even if you're man. not the biological father, she's saying, I'm not looking anymore. This is my guy. I'm the proudest man in the world to hear somebody say that about me because I'm a good guy. You know, I've been there for all my kids, and I guess it, people can feel that and see that. So I, I'm, I'm very proud to hear her say that, and I'm very happy because I'm not going anywhere neither. So we just stuck with each other. Well, that, that's great. Well, let's bring uh, Janice. She's uh, joining us. Hi, Janice. Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm great. And the same thing I said to Richard, you know, we be, we're happening to be taping today on Veterans Day. You're a veteran. I just want to say uh, thank you so much for uh, serving our country. You're welcome and likewise to you. Oh, thank you. Um, how long had you been looking for Richard? Man, I've been looking for him my whole life. Even as a little girl, I would, like, look for, like, similar features in men. Like, I wonder, could that be him? Or do I look like this man? Like, and then once I got older, I started going to, like, DMVs. I looked up all the Department of Correction websites all over 
the United States. I've checked hospitals. I've checked so many places just to see if I could find him. The very first time I found his Facebook page, I saw it, and I was like, oh, man, it's a striking, it's a striking resemblance. And then he didn't respond initially because I sent him the message in August. So I was like, okay, maybe it's nothing. So then, like, a couple of days before Halloween, he responds and was like, yes, I know her. And I'm like... I think you might be my dad. Yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, this is such a crazy story. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, God. Yes, I'm ready. I, 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 you know, Janice, what you said, it, it really struck me. You said that even if these results come back and Richard's not your father, you said, I'm done looking. He's the guy. Yes. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's, a, he's an impressive guy, right? Yeah. So <laughs> you you really want him to be your father. I really do. And Richard, you really want her to be your daughter. <laughs> yes, it'd be a blessing. Yes, it's not sure do. Oh uh -huh. God. Oh God. All right, well, uh <laughs> you were able to take a DNA test, and the results of that DNA test, Richard, is that you and the results of that DNA test, Richard, is that you are Janice's father. Uh, yes! Yes! Just do it! You know, I can't even imagine the journey uh, that your daughter, you know, she had to wait all these years yeah. searching for you. I, but you know what the great thing is, Richard, now you have the rest of your life to uh, yeah. spend time together. Hey, Janice, I'm yeah. really glad you're still with us. I'm glad you're okay. I got a lot of making up to do to my baby. Yeah. yeah. You, you know oh, what, Janice, gosh. can you describe exactly what you're feeling right now? I don't even know how to put it in words. It's like my whole life I felt like I got the short end of the stick. And even today I came in here thinking, like, it's just going to be my luck that this man is not going to be my dad. And I'm going to have to get back up again. And it's just oh, a relief. Mm -mm. And I'm not even no. a crybaby for real. Now, Richard, your son, you have a son, Bryce. Is he is he there? Yes, sir. He's here now. Well, let's bring him in. Come on, Bryce. Come on, Bryce. Yes. Oh, hey, Bryce, how are you? <laughs> how you doing, see you? I, I'm doing great. <laughs> and, you know, listen, sometimes we do a lot of hard stories. This one is just so heartwarming. Uh, mm. you now find out that you have a sister that you never met. Oh, man. <laughs> how does that, how do you feel that you have a sister? I feel good about it. We're so happy for you. Again, yeah. you know, you know, to me, anybody who served in armed forces holds a warm place in my heart. I'm really happy that you guys found each other. You, I, I would hope that with the holidays coming up now, that you're able to spend some family time together, that you're able to <laughs> connect and you get to know Richard's uh, other children, your siblings. You don't know how happy this story has made me feel. Sometimes, oh, wow. you know, when I leave the stage, it's hard because it's, it's, a, it's a tough show to do sometimes. But these are the kind of shows that just makes me feel great. Uh, I love <laughs> that we were able to uh, do this for you. And I'm just, you, all of us here at the Steve Wilco Show, I'm just so happy for you. Good. Thank you so much, Steve. We do appreciate everything you've done. And your, right. your wonderful producers and your, your whole network. We, we're so happy and appreciative. Well, so good luck to you. So good luck to you and enjoy those holidays.